what if I told you that there is no such thing as Santa Claus? It really would not have any effect on you, right? What if I told you that there is no such thing as the tooth fairy? It is not going to affect you, right? Because we know that there is no such thing as Santa Claus and we know that there is no such thing as the tooth fairy. Okay. But what if you come to a person and say, hey, based upon the Bible, having sex before marriage is a sin. Stealing is a sin. Cursing a person out is a sin. Adultery is a sin, so on and so on. And let's say that the people or person that you are speaking to about it has a very bad reaction to you saying that. Why is that happening? Because they know that you are right. And they know that they are doing wrong. And they know that there is a God. Because they may say that there is no such thing as a God, but when I was saying earlier, if I was to tell you that there is no Santa Claus, you would not have a reaction toward it. But when I speak about Jesus, God, and about following his rules and regulations, you have a reaction to it. So that reaction is telling me that you know that it is real. What if I came to you and said, hey, you have to start following, let me make up a name. You have to start following Mr. Blue. And Mr. Blue says that, and I make up some weird rules. Now, a person would think that I am crazy. <laughs> they would not get angry or mad or have this somewhat, not violent, but like have this huge reaction to it. So what I am trying to say, when the people have a very bad reaction or get angry at you when you are speaking about God to them, don't think that what you are doing is not having an effect on them because what you are doing, even if they say that, that they don't agree with you, and even if they say that they agree with you, when they are having a reaction, that is showing you that they are taking in what you are saying. So what you are doing is not in vain. Just because they say that there is no God means nothing. If they are reacting to what you are saying, in a aggressive way that is showing you that they are confirming what you are saying because would they have a bad reaction when you say that there is or you have to follow the rules of Santa Claus would they get mad about that no they would be like <laughs> whatever you know but when you talk about jesus and following his rules uh, they get mad about that so they are taking in what you are saying so continue to do that there is this one particular woman and i have been speaking to her off and on for about 
man, about three or four years now. And she hates it so much when I speak to her about God. Like, she hates it, like, bad. <laughs> like, really, really bad. And she will say mean things to me and stuff like that. But I keep on doing it. You know, every so often I may send her an email and asking her how are things, whatever. And then <laughs> I begin to write things about God and she will get really irritated and write me some mean things and stuff like that. Hey, as long as you are answering me, I am not saying that I am going to harass you and stuff like that, no. But you see, let me say this. We have to know people as well. Sometimes when people get hurt, and I am not saying that it is right, but sometimes when people get hurt, they will fight you or say crazy things to you, but keep the door open for you at the same time. Like they say that they hate you and they don't want anything to do with you, but keep but keep the door open for you at the same time. I don't know if that makes any sense to you. I want you to leave, but I am going to lock the door and pretty much not let you go, but at the same time, I am telling you to leave or you walk out the door and I say never come back but I keep the door open for you <laughs> when when people get hurt their mind is not right it is like they want somebody there but they are easily hurt to the point where even when you are telling them the truth they don't really want to accept it, but at the same time, they know what you are saying is true. I pray that makes sense. So every so often, I contact her and try to get her to come to God. And I know people may say, oh, you should give up and stuff like that. True. But look, hell is forever. Yes, I could give up, but who knows what is going to happen to that woman. And even with my attempts and everything like that, there is still a chance that she may not change. But look, why should I give up? I don't want her to go to hell. I don't care what mean things she may say to me, whatever. If keep on speaking to her, trying to get her to come to God, if all of those attempts are going to pay off in the end, so be it. Yes, I may get hurt, blah, blah, blah. But if she accepts God, all the stuff that I went through with her, will be well worth it. I believe as humans, and I know this for myself as well, we don't like to feel pain. But like I said, we are not here for ourselves. We are here for other people. So if you are not serving other people, serving people to get them closer to God, showing them the love of God, what are you doing? What are you doing? So tell people about God even if they are going to get mad because them getting mad is confirming to you they know that they are doing wrong and that they know about Jesus Christ. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless.